photography first, vlogging second, I'm afraid, on this one. Oh, it's doing exactly what I wanted. Oh, it looks utterly amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh. this is brilliant. I can't believe it. Good morning. Today I have two goals and two videos to make. This first one is going to be about landscape photography. I'm heading up into the mountains and I want to do some landscape photography. But my second goal of the day is to do ptarmigan photography. In the area that I will be looking for ptarmigan it is beautiful and I would like to get some landscape photography. It is just after sunrise and oh, this morning, this morning, you won't believe it. I got up nice and early. I went out into my living room and I looked out the window and it was what the Scottish would call a dreek day. Fog, rain, dark, it was horrible. Ugh, the life of a photographer constantly battling the elements. The walk up to the mountain is quite a popular hiking path. There isn't a lot of people around, mainly the people that work here. So I might be able to do some filming, but I think I'll do a lot of it point of view, okay? Because um, it's a long day that I've got planned, a lot of hiking, and I don't, I want to limit the amount of going to and fro from the camera on this initial bit. Let's get going. So, I've just realised I've made a terrible mistake and I've forgotten my second tripod which I use for filming so I'm going to have to be quite inventive when I get up there it's too far back for me to to go back just for a tripod so luckily where I'm going there's a lot of boulders so I'll be using boulders to prop this camera up I have got one tripod with me and depending on what I'm doing I can switch it around <laughs> I can't believe I did that oh well it happens there's so much kit in here that I just forgot one piece um, still got a bit of a trek to go so I'm gonna keep heading on That was quite a tough trek in. I think it's taken about an hour and 20, an hour and a half. I wouldn't be surprised if it took a little longer because of filming. I've just come a little close, I was gonna sit down. You must be wondering what landscape photography am I wanting to do in the mountains in the fog? Because I knew that this was gonna be the weather conditions for once. 
and my idea was minimalist mountain details. I wanted the, the fog to actually help separate the scene, isolating features and adding a lot of contrast because, you know, a mountain is solid, heavy, dark rock, whereas fog and clouds is light, wet, misty, it's just a complete contrast in textures. On the way here, I actually saw a composition and I was setting up when the fog really rolled in and just blocked it out completely, which was very annoying, but it happens. So I continued on to here. What did I bring with me in my bag? Just a quick little thing. For landscape photography, I have one lens, no filters, nothing apart from my 24 to 105 millimeter lens and this tripod. And for wildlife photography, I have one lens as well. And that's my 500 millimeter monster lens, the best lens out there. It's amazingly sharp. It gives great background bokeh. So because I had those, uh, that massive lens, I couldn't bring too much weight and I couldn't bring my whole landscape kit. So I brought my mid mid range zoom which should give me enough zoom for isolating features. It should give me enough wide angle if I need it. So it's a good all rounder and it, the, probably the best option for one lens only photography. I'm just looking for timing up here. Move on, this is the landscape part. Time to get some landscape photography done. So, <laughs> oh, it's a bit misty. As I said earlier, I forgot the tripod. So I'm having to be a bit inventive with how I film this, holding the camera like now, placing it on boulders while I set up, etc., etc. So it's proving to be, this is gonna be a quite a, a strange video, a couple of videos, I must admit. I'm, out, I'm a little bit nervous about putting them up. So over there is a is a little lock sitting at the base of the cliff. There's some light coming in on it. I don't know where that's coming from. So maybe there's going to be a break in the clouds as well. The, at the top of above the lock, there is this massive cliff face, which is very popular with climbers. And so I'm hoping to get the clouds sort of shrouding it a bit. So I'm going to head over that way, I think, and try and get some stuff. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to. I'm so excited. It looks freaking amazing. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited. Yes. So the <laughs> there's these massive rock cliffs up here on this on this part of the mountain, 
and they're just peeking through the clouds. It looks brilliant. I can't wait to process these images. I'm so excited. Oh, it's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to have to put you down for a second while I fiddle with this. Photography first, vlogging second, I'm afraid, on this one. Oh, it's doing exactly what I wanted. Oh, it looks utterly amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. I can't believe it. So in general, I'm at ISO 100 f11 and about 1 40th, 1 30th of a second. But each shot, I'm just going to have to put up the settings with each shot because I don't know which ones are going to turn out. They're do it's doing amazing stuff though. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm sorry you can't see right now, but you're going to see the results and it is going to be beautiful. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff. Some will be black and white, some will be colour, some will be... Um, square crop, some will be 4 by 5 some will be no crop. It's just doing exactly what I wanted it to coming up here today. Oh man, this is perfect. Perfect conditions. Clouds, rocky crags sticking up out of the clouds. Beautiful contrast between the bright clouds, the dark rocks. The textures of the rocks, the diffused light. You couldn't ask for better mountainscapes, detailed mountainscapes, to be honest. It's just. Oh, I'll go back to portraits of this landscape. I know the vlogging is not the best right now, and I'm really sorry about that, but I've just got to take these pictures before I lose the opportunity with these clouds. I wish I hadn't forgot the tripod, trust me, I really do. So, after all that excitement, I got some cracking images, I know I did. Just follow, take everything you can find. We stay here until tomorrow. Can't let them win.
so I got some cracking images of the clouds I'm really happy with that that's exactly the kind of images that I had in mind and that's why I came up into this area in particular to to photograph to do some landscape photography in the fog um, you know you see pictures like that coming from amazing places like the Dolomites in Italy and and amazing mountain ranges in the Alps and and around in in America but you wouldn't think of that sort of craggy bonkers sort of photography here in Scotland so I'm just scouting out my next image and it's to do with these waterfalls over here if I Ooh. that one and then if I can around this way there should be one there there's one there so there's two waterfalls and I found a foreground anchor which is this beautiful mossy stone so I'm going to try and compose it I'm going to get I don't have wellies with me but I do have waterproof shoes so I'm going to try and get the tripod in the water a bit and get it low to that stone to just lower the the height of the water I don't want like this much water taking up a third of the frame I only want a little bit like that so to, to create that shortness you've got to get lower in the water from this position and then it's going to be shooting wide probably portrait and getting those waterfalls in the shot and the clouds are just coming in hiding the tops of them um, so I'm going to compose that and then I'll talk you through the settings and how I'm going to work it I've just set it up in the water but the clouds are a bit too much blocking out the waterfall um, I'm focused in on the rock at the moment I really love that vibrant green and can you see this turquoise colour I don't know if it comes out on this camera the turquoise colour of this it's beautiful isn't it I can't fit both the waterfalls it, just not wide enough so I'm focusing on the bigger one the one that's got that nice um, curvy shape and so the I'm shooting portrait orientation like I thought I would need to at 24 millimeters mossy boulder in the foreground is on the bottom right hand third cross you know we're going with a rule of thirds and then the, it actually frames up so that the waterfall snakes on the on the right hand third which looks quite nice and uh, now it's just a matter of waiting and what when the clouds clear a bit I'll get a better idea of the settings I can use um, I don't have any filters to slow down the exposure so I just have to see how dark I can get it I don't want to I'll probably go up to f16 to try and get a bit slower and still be quite sharp that's the idea yeah I think there will be some diffraction around the edges though and maybe some vignetting I'll put up the settings with the image once I take it and um, yeah the clouds are sort of starting to dissipate a little bit so I'm gonna get into position and take this picture and I hope you like it
<sighs> so with that last shot of the waterfall and the little lock I'm going to call it for la this landscape photography video I got a lot of shots of this cliff faces in the clouds and I'm really looking forward to processing those and I think I'm not going to be able to top it to be honest I think that those were the best conditions I was going to get today and that means I am free to focus on ptarmigan photography for the rest of the day as well I accomplished exactly what I set out to do I, those that style of photography is exactly what I had in mind that's why I came to this particular area to really get underneath those cliffs and to see them in the fog and we've also been having a lot of rain recently hence the waterfall tumbling down so violently it's normally a little bit more gentle than that so next my next video coming up is going to be all about ptarmigan photography i'm looking forward to it i have i have had a lot of problems with ptarmigan over the summer so i've got all day and i will get some pictures <laughs> oh come on let's have a bit of enthusiasm eh so if you've watched this i hope that you've enjoyed the images that you've seen something a little bit different that you've been inspired to go out and try something different when the weather is not perfect and is a, a little bit uh, Dreek, as the Scottish call it, um, there's a lot that you can do, you know, as a landscape photographer. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, don't give, forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know any thoughts about the images in the comments below. And if you feel like subscribing, that would be a big help. My next one will be all about ptarmigan. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.